Hello friends, yet another amazing video in which I shall tell you how you can divide large numbers by two digit numbers in a single step. Very useful video and uh, I'm sure this is going to benefit you a great deal when you have to, you know, carry out these divisions in competitions and uh, students at basic level, you know, they can learn this method uh, right from the starting so that they can uh, really feel comfortable when it uh, comes to higher mathematics. So I'll tell you the method first and this is the part one of this video because I'm taking only three examples or four examples in which the remainder is zero. That means the uh, given large number is exactly divisible by the given two digit number. So the dividend is a very large number and the divisor is a two digit number only. You can extrapolate that and I shall come up with more videos on this method to divide large numbers by a three digit number also and when the answer is in decimals then also you can apply this method directly. So that will be done in part two and part three and in the meanwhile you can just uh, feel comfortable by taking 30 40 such examples understand this and take 30 40 examples to you know feel comfortable and then we can get on with some higher concepts and that is applications of this method. So the first example is 38982 divided by 73. See I have done the steps here so that uh, you don't get confused because I, if I uh, do it by writing the steps then obviously there's a chance that you will get confused in the steps. Now see this is a two digit number. So I am writing the first digit that is the tens digit here and the second digit that is the ones digit is to be written slightly above this. Remember this is not power 7 raised to power 3 it is not like that it is just done to separate out 7 and 3. You can write it here also here also uh, the thing is to understand that this 3 has a different role to play in division than 7. Okay now how to write this number 5 digit number see we have separated out 1 digit so from the right hand side we will separate out 1 digit here also so this 2 is separated out here. And the remaining four digits 3898 are to be written here between uh, these two vertical lines as dividend and uh, grouping can be done like 7 is the divisor here. So 7 does not divide 3, 3 is less than 7. So I have to take two digits first. So that is traditional division which I am telling you. Okay, now see 7 uh, multiplied by 5 gets us 35 which is very close to 38 right so 38 and 7 5 the 35 the difference will give you 3 so 7 5 the 35 and 38 minus 35 gives you 3 and that 3 I have written here this 3 because you need to consider the next digit now so the 38 minus 35 is 3 and 3 makes it 39 so this 39 has been obtained in the first step and now what we do here is a very very important step which is to be followed in this type of division uh, trick. Now see we need to subtract something from this and then convert it into a dividend. 39 is not the uh, ready dividend for this. Now 39 minus what is to be subtracted? The number which you have separated out here 3 multiplied by the first quotient 3 into 5 15. So this 15 is to be subtracted from the next dividend to give you a, another number 24 and now I want to get close to 24 not 39 very important step now if you understand this step then everything will be very fine in all other examples so now how to get close to 24 7 3 is a 21 it gets us close to 24 and what is the remainder so 24 minus 21 is 3 so I have written 3 here now the next dividend is 38 now uh, again the same step is to be followed. Now this 38 again we need to subtract something from this. What is to be subtracted? 7 into 3 21. So 38 okay uh, this is 7 okay. So we have separated out the number 3. So 3 into 5 15 we subtracted earlier. Now 3 into 3 9. So 38 minus 9 is 29 which is the new dividend now. So we want to get close to 29 now. So 7 4 times is 28 and 29 minus 28 gives me 1 which I have written here and this converts it to, to 12 and whatever now I am going to obtain is the number after decimal. This is the real quotient and now whatever number I am obtaining is after decimal. So 12 
and what is to be subtracted from this again 3 into 4 12 so this is 0 that means after decimal we have a 0 thereby giving us the quotient 534.0 or that is 534 as the answer of this question 38982 divided by 73 is 534 now a little bit complicated i understand that but practice makes a man perfect and we need to practice this method in order to attain mastery so let's see another question so this is 484772 divided by 34 now try to understand this very very logically so that you can feel comfortable now now see 34 means 3 written here and 4 separated out likewise one digit is separated out here so we will separate one digit from the right hand side of the dividend like this and the remaining number because 3 ones are 3 4 is more than that so i'll write all separately 48477 that is the dividend part now 3 ones are 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so i have written 1 here now the first step see this is 18 18 minus what is to be subtracted 4 into 4 so this is the separated out number so i need to multiply this by the quotient obtained here so 18 minus previous quotient was 1 so 4 into 1 4 so 18 minus 4 is 14 now i want to get close to 14 3 4 is 12 so 14 if i want to get close to 14 i need to multiply 3 by 4 so this 4 comes here 3 into 4 is 12 so sub on the subtraction you, it gives you 2 and this 2 comes here now this becomes 24 but 24 is not the new dividend you need to subtract something from this 4 into the previous quotient so 4 into 4 16 is to be subtracted so this becomes 8 now i want to get close to 8 so 3 2 is a 6 and if you subtract these two this will become 2 which will come here now up till here the process is quite okay 27 now you must be wondering 27 and we need to subtract something from this also right 4 to the 8 so the same steps are to be followed 27 minus 4 to the 8 which gives me 19 and now the crucial step 19 3 6 are 18 but i have written 5 here why so because if i take 6 here 3 into 6 will be 18 and 19 minus 18 will give me 1 so here this will be reduced to 1 7 17 and what is to be subtracted from this 4 into 6 uh, if, if i select 6 here 4 into 6 will give me 24 so next dividend 17 minus 24 will be a negative number which i want to avoid so if i take 6 here this is giving me a negative dividend in the next step so what i do is i will not take 18 here 36 are 18 rather i will reduce it by 1 so 19 minus rather than 18 i will take 3 5 the 15 now let's see what happens 19 minus 15 is 4 so i have written 4 here so this becomes 47 and what is to be subtracted 4 5 the 20 now this is 27 now if this is 27 and i i want to get close to this 27 so i have to take 9 here 3 9 the 27 but what happens on taking 27 the difference becomes 0 so here we will have a 0 this becomes 0 2 and 2 minus 36 uh, this will obviously be negative so again the same thing is happening if i take 9 here the next dividend is negative so purposefully i have taken one less than that that is 8 here and what happens on taking 8 here this was 27 and I need to subtract now 3 8 are 24 which gives me 3 and if this becomes 3 then 32 minus 4 8 are 32 again gives me 0 that means our answer for the question will be a 14258.0 or simply 14258. So in this case 534 was the answer in this case 14258 is the answer 
again some different steps are involved here get, like get, getting a negative dividend and you need to practice this concept very very well and you know two three hours of practice is required to master this one let's see one more see this is comparatively easier so okay i'll give you this to you later this is the third one one six one five five seven two divided by sixty three now see again 63 means 6 and 3 separated out and since one digit is separated out so from the right hand side one digit is to be separated out here and 161557 is to be written here now see 6 multiplied by anything will not get close to 1 1 is far less than that so i'll take pair 16 so 6 twos are 12 so 16 minus 12 is 4 which i have written here up to, up to here the steps are very clear now see this becomes 41 and what is to be subtracted 3 to the 6 is to be subtracted this gives me 35 and now i want to get close to 35 so 6 5 the 30 because 6 6 the 36 is above this so 6 5 the 30 which gives a remainder 5 and that is written here so now this becomes 55 and now I want to get close to 55. Now, see, if I get, oh, okay, I need to subtract something from this first, 55 and 3 into 5 is, 15 is to be subtracted. So this becomes 40. Now I want to uh, get close to 40. So 6, 6, 36, 4 remaining. So this becomes 45 here. Now 45 minus 3 into 6, 18. So this is 27. Now I want to get close to 27. So 6 fours are 24. This will give me 3. So this becomes 37. 37 minus 3 into 4, 12, which gives me 25. And I want to get close to 25 means 6 into 4, 24. So 1 remaining and 1 give, uh, gets here and this becomes 12. Now 12 minus 3 into 4 again, 12 gives me 0, thereby giving me the answer. 1615572 divided by 63 is 25644. You can check your answer using the calculator. I am sure you are going to get the correct answer. Now practice this method. I will give you one question. Try to divide 861384 by 38 and get the answer 22668. Now this is for you. Or practice of this particular method so that you can practice this and feel comfortable with the method then we will get on with part 2 in which I will be taking cases in which division of a large number by a two digit number will give us an answer in decimals. Friends little bit complicated I understand that every concept is complicated if you don't practice it but once you practice it and get through with those concepts you know they uh, act as lifesavers in uh, all types of competitions. So practice this method and wait for part 2 of the video in which I shall be dealing with more such questions and part 3 in which I will be taking higher divisions by 3 digit numbers also. So if you like this video do share it with all your friends who are aspiring to look for uh, looking to you know uh, improve their speed of calculations and do not forget to subscribe the channel and also click the bell shaped icon along with the subscribe button you know you will get all the notifications of uh, the future uploads on the channel. Thanks for watching this video.